The bottom line, we're going to protect vaccinated workers from unvaccinated co-workers. In addition to requiring 20 million federal workers to get vaccinated, President Biden says the Department of Labor is developing an emergency rule to require all employers with 100 or more employees that together employ over 80 million workers to ensure their workforces are fully vaccinated or show a negative test at least once a week. But here in downtown Birmingham, people who have worked in businesses small and yes, large, over 100 people are deeply divided. It's a lot of people I'm noticing that have been vaccinated are back with COVID. I'm trying to figure out like why, like how? That makes no sense. So you're against a mandate? I am. Charlene Pugh disagrees because... We have to think about there's so many people losing their lives. I've had a lot of loved ones that just had an uncle just, just pass that was vaccinated and then caught COVID because of someone else not being vaccinated. So I think it's a good thing. I'm against it. I feel like people should have their own choice, uh, their own free will to make that decision. Uh, more power to those companies that are trying to push that, but uh, just not quite sure if that's if that's the right thing we should be doing right now. Business owner Mimi Leonard is sure. Mandates are essential just because it's in the best interest of the public, just to get everything under control. Aiming to control COVID, which has now killed more than 654,000 Americans, and among them, over 12,000 Alabamians. In Birmingham, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13. <laughs>